folks, Bane Man, Lincoln Lance here for more. <clears throat> John Dash, and that's right back for some more. Hope you guys are excited for that. I know that I am. Get hyped for that, boys and girls and dogs and machines. Uh, like I said, my name is Lance Roman Horn. My stream is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That's my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTJ, and Twitter. So if you're just watching this on Twitch, please are following. If you're watching this on YouTube, please are subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. And you can always follow me on Twitter for that bluebird action. That's right. Tweet tweets. So sweet. Uh, I heard Twitter's just a clown show all the time. Um, but I don't really know. I just, I don't really do anything on Twitter. Um, so yeah, you guys can tell. You know, you should follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube for the low, low cost of free. To read the benefits immediately, don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, and even sometimes joy. Sometimes there is laughter, and, and there was some good laughter on the last stream. Um, do it now. You won't regret it. I always have this disclaimer, though, just in case. Um, I am not responsible for a sudden increase in top decking only lands, being wrecked by Ragavan, or being unable to find your sideboard cards. If that starts happening to you, it has nothing to do with me. Just throwing that out there. Uh, so as you guys can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. When I play Magic the Gathering, I prefer to play Modern. When I play Modern, I play one of four decks somewhat coherently. Those four decks currently are... <laughs> Abzan, Grix the Shadow, Gruul Ponza, and when you see your screen now, Jun. That's right. Got some Reed Duke shenanigans going on right now. I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, anyways, I heard something back there. Like, what? Uh, anyways, um, yeah, let's take a look at the weather. It's a nice day. It's supposed to be nice days all week, all next week. Weather for Ravenel conditions are partly cloudy with a temperature of 73 degrees. The wind is blowing from the west at 3 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 54%. There you go. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to get to the low 80s next week, which is going to be perfectly good weather. Uh, so let's see. We're still at 24 followers on Twitter. We did go up one follower on Twitch. We are now at 263, so thank you very much there. We are still at 397 subscribers on YouTube. So shout out to all 24 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 263 followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 397 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all four. Four of my Twitch subscribers who give me a little bit of their hard-earned money. I really appreciate it. It's going way above and beyond the call of duty. I never ask for money. It's just I do this. I don't even know why I do this, honestly. I mean, hardly anyone watches this, which if you do, God bless you. Um, just, I just do it so to catalog my own failures and joys and rage and whatever. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, uh, you know, you guys will give me a little bit more. I really appreciate that. You know, the times are tough right now. Inflation's through the roof. The recession's coming. And the things just ain't getting better. I mean, they just ain't, you know. It's just not looking good. But, you know, we can all we can do is keep living our lives and trying to make the best decisions we can make. And I really appreciate that money you guys give me. And uh, I really appreciate your time watching me and listening to me. I really do. So... Got more Jund here. Let's hop right in there. I got nothing else to say. I did open up a box of Double Masters 2022. The best pull. These are the notable pulls. Here in Mythics, we got a... My wife opens the box. I review the cards. She just looks through them, and I look and figure out which ones are worth money and what's not. Um, notable cards. The most expensive card was Cavernor Souls. We got a Cavernor Souls. Um, there was also a Dockside Extortionist. A Bitter Blossom. Uh, those are the very notable Mythic Rares. The, myth, the notable Rares were Damnation, Smithing Tide, Aether Vial, and a Borderless Aether Vial. Those are all very nice. Very nice cards there. Um, so yeah, uh, people are there playing right now, playing Modern. They're all playing the Double Masters Draft, which maybe all dabble in a little bit maybe do some double masters draft right there i don't know maybe maybe not it's not really sure but uh yeah also guys next week let everyone know next week i should be able to return to a relatively normal schedule except next thursday i won't be able to do anything it's my wife's birthday next thursday so but next week will be ponza the week after that will be Ponza, and the week after that will be Ponza. So if you guys like watching me play Ponza, I'm playing some Ponza coming up for y'all. All right, let's get on in here. Of course I had to go first, but before I get to have my official going first look at hand, I have to do the official beverage of the day. And we all know 
that wh who, the the official star of the video starts to like crack open the beverage of the day. And folks, this is another weird ass one. I don't even know what to say. Um, but it's another one. Of these G fuels is a G fuel Tetris blast. Look at that Tetris blast. It's crazy looking. Look at that thing. G fuel Tetris blast. Now, what does Tetris Blast taste like? I don't know. It does say here on the can, official product of Tetris. Uh, I haven't played Tetris in forever. I like Tetris, not going to lie. Um, but, yeah, it should be uh, pretty good here. So let's crack this thing open see what, what, what I'm dealing with here. Here we go. It, oh, man. It's like banana. It's like a banana flavor. I like that. Right on. I don't like this hand though. I'm only on that. The lack of green for Goyf disturbs me. But I'll keep. And put Blood Braid on bottom. And hope I can find green at some point. Oh, good. Good. Immediately against uh, Living End. That's what that's what you like to see when you're playing John. The first thing you look, you play a Thought Seize, and you just realize you're against Living End. That's that's always the best. And there is green. Like this is terrible against Living End, but yeah, I guess we get a clock going as fast as we can. Liliana or uh, Inquisition of Kozilek? Clearly that's happening. If I Inquisition, I can take the Force Negation. That's about it. But maybe they're holding a Violent Outburst. Yeah, what the hell, we'll Inquisition. Mm, they must be holding it. All right. Swing for four. And probably top deck Charless Agent or um, Vine Outburst. Nice. Have a flying goif. So you don't see us much anymore. I can actually revolt push this Curator Mystery, which is great. Yep. Yay! Uh, 9, 13. I guess we fight through this. I mean, as hopeless as this is. Why am I doing this? I don't know. No clue. They actually left me with, sure, I mean, they actually didn't kill the Lily, I mean, they, they you should have swung, I mean, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, just nine right there. Alrighty, living in, a fatal push out. Don't want that. Do want the unlicensed hearse. I do want the endurance. 
and maybe the collective brutality. Uh, Ragavan's pretty rough. I don't want Collector Brutality. Unit Explosive doesn't do anything. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should leave in Ragavan. Take out these Bolts instead. But I like Bolts because they speed up the clock, you know. Boil's just not good enough. Yeah, I could do Brutality. I'll just go with this. Alright, that looks pretty good. Man, that's so weird. Banana flavored energy drink. Now, of course, what's going to happen is they're going to grief and take my unlicensed hearse. We all know that's what's going to happen. Nobody should doubt what's about to happen here. No. Oh, well, they do have Foundation Breaker. Okay. So we obviously need to try and hold as long as we can. The uh, unlicensed hers. I just don't need to suddenly have foundation. Okay, we have endurance now. I'm going to play this. Nope. Let me cycle the street wraith. I'm going to bolt them. So I think this is time for unlicensed hearse here. Then I can still evoke Tarmogoyf. I mean Endurance in case they they keep going here. Well, I mean I guess. Huh. The only way this goes horribly wrong is if they go, uh, if they go with the, uh, they have like subtlety. We know they have steam vents and foundation breaker. Yeah, we don't want them responding to endurance with violent outburst. So we just got a really intense waiting game here.
Fire Bluff Canal. Yeah, they're holding that foundation breaker. the season pyro that's actually a really good one for living end for me get rid of that steam vents they must know i have endurance Jeez, that was deep. All right, there we go. <laughs> I guess we had it all along. We just didn't even know. All right. Do it again. Do you have to use my uh, unlicensed hers? Nope. Eating a huge burger right now. That sounds awesome, Lana War. Glad to see you, man. Hope things are going well for you. Um. I guess I can keep this, put Blood Braid on bottom, and this is going to be nuts, but I'm going to try and get Ragavan so I can get River's Charm. Please swing into them, monkey. Get them. Okay. It's like, oh my god, I have solitude or something? <laughs> How is that possible? Took the soaring city. All right, I got my I got my uh, rivers charm ready. Swing in. They most likely have a force negation here. Yep. And I should be pretty close to dead here. Yep, just lost the battle going first or second there. Just uh, lack of intelligent gameplay from the opponent. Just, just shove a fucking you know gun directly 
at a target that says Jund and just fire it. Well, I managed to win one game. At least it's fast. I guess I should have done it during their turn, right? They just want to... They can't force... That's such a bad spot, too. Like, if I would have Rivers Charm during their end step, they would could have just Violent Outburst. Yeah, if I, they was a Violent Outburst over the Rivers end. Because they had priority. They're like, okay, chain, chain this or put this on the stack. I mean, there was just no way to win there. I mean, I literally couldn't win. Uh, but this looks like a nice... Quality start, you know, going to be a little bit slow. Got the Rage and Ravine going to come in tapped on turn two, but, you know, it is what it is. I am O and 1. Oh, is this just more? Oh, it, it's a it's, uh, merfolk, okay. All right. Yeah, Alana, where they had outs. Like, if I tried to do Rivers Charm during his end step, he would have just turned around and just Vion Outburst. <laughs> I mean, it was been, it would have been bad. The best I could have done there is play Liliana and make a minus. So what the hell do we have here? Tide Shaper... Well, I almost think we take the Tide Shaper because that's a disaster if uh, if they kick it somehow. Uh, sure. Probably take Master of the Pearl. Next. That's a good draw. So I guess I'll just take Lord of Atlantis then. At this rate. Hopefully I got enough removal for all this. Because here comes some sort of lord. If they don't play a lord here... Okay, that was not kicked. That's good. Hmm. I kind of want to play Goyf and Ragavan. I could... Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's... Probably Goyf and Ra Ragavan. And then what we're going to try and do is try to get Lily on in the mix. You know, all that stuff. Well, I don't have an island, so I'm good. I can block these. Gonna bring in another Master of the Pearl. Yeah. Another Aether Vial, so we know it's in their hand. Still no swing. That's great. A 
another thing we're calling this command would be amazing here. They leave this one on two. Okay, I have Blood Braid Elf unlocked. I can play Riveter's Charm. And make them sacrifice. I can play Liliana in plus. Make them get rid of that. So now they're just top decking only. Um, but Liliana will probably die. I can minus. I can play Lily and minus it. Which they'll probably get rid of the Tide Shaper. Uh, I think that's best. Because then I'll force them into blocks and stuff and... You know, I want to try and be able to get that Riveter's Charm to take out this Sylvan. It's going to get pretty rough with two Aether Vials, though. He's probably wondering if I have Lightning Bolt. But yeah, that doesn't matter because now they all have Ward. Okay. If he swings both these at Liliana, then that's fine. Lily down. Yeah. Bolt these at Lily. Sure. You got it. I mean, there's just nothing I can do about that. Because I want to go with my Ragavan. I think Goyf a 3 4. We know they have to sacrifice this to Riveter's Charm, plus a Lightning Bolt. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so yes, just just blast them with this Riveter's Charm. I'm not going to play any jokes. Just You're going to sacrifice your legendary creature. I don't care it's got indestructible. It's being sacrificed. And then definitely swing in here for six. Put them to four. 14. Steel. Nice. And uh, we'll try to bolt something. If those tap, this one taps with two, if they just have the one the two tap I'm bolting I'm not gonna let another Lord come in and make it a four four that'd be hella stupid muta vaults always concerning now it becomes like a game of chicken here do I think they have it at this rate I'll win the race again if they tap here. Okay, I'll take it. I'll go to 12. Um, now it'll be Blood Braid Elf time. Definitely not extra Ragavan time. Come on, Blood Braid. Find some removal or something. Colligan's Command. Is that Tarmogoyf? Sure. I'll take an extra Goyf. Why not? Give me that extra friendly goyf right there. Seems good. All right, I'm going to swing with everything. They're probably going to fire up Mutavault at least. Um, that'll be okay. If that's what they want to do, I'll bolt it.
this is very frightening because of, again, if this is a lord, if this is a lord, he's become four, that thing will also become a four. I think I would have thrown down the lord last turn, though. I guess we'll see what sort of heinous shit I'm up against. Okay, it's just a trickster. It is a 4-4, though? Fuck. Yeah, I'm doing this all wrong. All right, trying to hold the line here. Yeah, I just needed to bolt one of the masters in response. No swing, okay. Just gotta find more removal, that's all I gotta do. That's not removal. Just throwing it out there. That's not removal at all. Only got, you know, three more lightning bolts, two fatal pushes, and a terminate, and some Gris, and some Lilianas, and a Caligan's Command. Just a lot of quality stuff out there that I can probably maybe be able to use to kill some stuff, but, you know, just can I find it? Well, he did not flash in a creature there, which gives me a little bit of hope. I, I don't know what that could possibly be unless he's trying to do two creatures at once. Maybe he's holding that island the entire time? I don't know. <sighs> what is this? I'm drawing all the Ragavans. I guess I could fly in with the four or five goyf, right? I don't think any sense is it just they trade, right? I just gotta start finding removal. I mean, that's all I gotta do. If I swing here, this will come a three three block, double block. I mean, that's probably not worth it. I gotta remember I also have Rage and Ravine. That can come in as a decent blocker sometimes. Yep. I 
Yep. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll find some removal. Maybe. There we go. There's some. Does this ever show me what it originally is? There it is. Okay, so it's not like fantastical image. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep sitting here. I mean, until. I can find, I mean, at some point I'm going to have to attack, right? Somebody's going to blink, someone's going to attack. Just going to try and keep in stepping. Uh, fatal pushing or whatever. Anyone coming over? No? Uh, probably just push the trickster. Or not the trickster, the pearl. Original pearl. Wow. Okay. Probably just get rid of the trickster, right? I mean, why would you get rid of either of the pearls? Gets rid of glass pool? Why? Maybe he wants to copy trickster at some point. We've got one card left in hand. I could swing, he'd have to block, but he's probably got another one here. I mean, it would take out two creatures regardless, I would think. I, I can't imagine them having a creature big enough to take out Goyf by itself. Uh, I'm willing to whisk, risk it. You know, I'm gonna get, well, this is four, so they bring another one. Yeah, yeah, it won't be a two for one. It'll be a one for one. So we'll just keep sitting and try to get something here. I don't know what they're holding on to. Maybe it's another force negation. Maybe they're bricking on those. Yep, that's pretty rough. Eventually I can maybe tear them down through You know, sweet jund action. Just gotta find my bolts and shit. Just like, what is going on here? Uh, yeah, there's no reason for me to cast that, just plus. That's why. Oh, yeah. This is going to get really brutal here. I'm going to fire up these Muta Vaults. You're going to have six attackers. I'm going to have four, technically, with Rage and Ravine. Uh, 
Oh, never mind. They're going to sacrifice a Mutavolt? Oh, no, no, no. What am I... Yeah, I'm, I'm plussing here. All right. At least I'm empty-handed again. Well, they're just top decking. If they have a uh, uh, spreading cease here, it's over. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now let's see how bad this hurts. No way he swings with the pearls. So these are at Lily. This is also at Lily. So Lily's going to go down. This is at me. So I think Goyf obviously takes down the Adept. Well, maybe maybe I can take out the Mutavolt actually. Take out Mutavolt. Something like that. So I take four, Liliana survives. I think that works. I mean, I'm gonna take four, I mean. Boosh. All right, Goyf is now a 5-6. Still need a lot of help here. Not finding it one damn bit. Okay. Uh, not a single bit of help there. Not one ounce of help. What a battle. This is only game one. What a battle.
Well, hopefully my Inquisitions can do something now. Okay, I like that. So, Ward 1. Creature or Planeswalker spell. Okay. But that has flying, which is a serious fucking problem. So I hope they don't find a lord here. Wait, does this not work? I, oh, that's... Yes, okay. Whew. Yes, I thought for a second it was one of those things you had to pay in advance or something. Okay, it is not even destructible anymore. This cannot bounce Goy if it has to be on the stack for it to bounce. All right! What a battle. What a battle we have here, folks. Can I follow up with some decent? No. So now do I swing with Ragavan? I just can't, right? I mean, I just can't. I only go on this up to four. I just can't. I need to find even more removal. I could swing with Goyf. The only problem is they have Trickster or something, you know? But you think they would have had Trickster last turn, right? Do we go Ragavan here? I think they would have already had Trickster. I think we just keep holding. I mean, I'm slowly grinding through this, but now I'm just going to die to subtlety, I think. Oh, well, I could see out their hand looks like. Maybe they would have traded with Ragavan there. Now I can play subtlety. Yeah, it's quite the game. It's got to keep finding removal. You know, this can... If it's a Liliana, it doesn't work because of subtlety. It would put it back in my hand. But I do have to be mindful of the clock. I mean, we were both down over half our clock in game one. Just not back-to-back -back land draws. It's too devastating. Colligan's Command. Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, see, that's just not really doing it here. I guess I could re-pick up Rivers... I mean, uh, Raging Ravine. So we go like this, we cast it, they'll probably subtlety it, get value out of their subtlety, right? Probably just die to this, honestly. Put on the bottom. I need to find removal, not Renin 6. Man, it's just too scary to swim with Goyf. I, I just can't. I just can't because they have two Aether Vials sitting there. If I swim with Goyf, the game just be over. You know, they're not using it. it. It's really strange. It's like they're playing extremely defensive. Even though I have no cards in hand. I get that if I was always holding two cards. But, you know, I just... I still have more lightning bolts. I still have three more bolts. I still have a Colligan's Command. I still have Riveter's Charm. 
Uh, just a lot of stuff that, you know, could be good if I could find it. But, you know, I mean, I almost wonder if they're holding Force Negation again. Okay, uh, now that I pulled another Goyf, I'm willing to try and swing with my first Goyf. See if we can't get a trade here or something. Takes it. Huh. Wow. Unbelievable. These Ragavans seem really bad in this matchup. They are not getting through. Uh, Engineering Explosives look amazing, even though they'll kill my own stuff. Collective Brutality looks great. Boil, yes please. Uh, Ancient Grudge is one that I'm not a fan of bringing in against these Aether Vial decks, for the most part, because they win without Aether Vial. The, if they just keep drawing lands, they can just start playing. I mean, yeah, it helps to get rid of their Aether Vial, but I just don't think it's the greatest thing ever. Only nine creatures, though. That's a problem. Um, ah, this is tough. Ren and Six is generally not great against this matchup either because they don't run Birds of Paradise or, or anything like that. Um, probably take out these Thought Seizes. Maybe bring in some Turox. Just trying. What good does that do me? What good is Turok? Uh. I just don't think I have enough threats. Jeez. Inquisition seems pretty rough. Just leave one in. Yeah, I, I think that looks better. Now I gotta try and win uh, two games in ten minutes. Sure. Gotta go for a blood crypt. Kind of, th th these lands are always tough. Like you just don't really want them in your opening hand. You want to be able to fetch for them. But you know it, it's just the way it is. I, I do like the proving ground. It's like I like the uh, Indantha Triome. That's rough. Bloodiest of Crips. All right, sweet. Ragavan coming in uncontested. Go, Ragavan, go. I don't need that. Um... I guess we'll hold back on Goy for now. Probably a Silvergill Adept. What a classic card. What a classic card. I mean, for real. Just don't get more classier than that, folks. Okay, we'll Fatal Push that. Ooh. 
Swing for two. First things first. Swing for two here. Lord of Atlantis. Um, yeah, I think we just continue. I, I want to hold Lily. There's no reason to play it. Every card in my hand is good right now, so no reason to discard anything. 3-4 Goyf here. Just try to build up mana. Maybe get a Collective Brutality and a Blood Raid Elf on the same turn. Just got to look at that stuff. All right. Well, we'll put it on top. I mean, I like this Goyf. Toporuski. He knows I'm drawing the Goyf. I currently have five mana. It's enough for a Brutality. Another different one. So it has Indestructible. <clears throat> um, so now we are going to play Liliana of the Veil. We're going to minus Lily here. Swing with Ragavan. Play Tarmogoyf. Seems pretty legit. All right, no force negation there. Sacrifice. Swing for two. Theft. Steal another Lord of Atlantis. White. Green. Goyf. What the hell? What the fuck? Did I not use one? I said green, damn it. There we go. All right. Maybe get some sweet, sweet blood rate action. Maybe. Bro, why? Bro, why? What the fuck? Why are there two of them now? What happened? Give me a bolt. I can bolt one, not a swamp. Well, I mean, this is okay in terms of I can plus, right, and then still cast Blood Red Elf. I mean, it, it can get sour here pretty quick. So, yeah, plus... Discard, they had Immuta Vault. Come on, Blood Braid. Something good. Engineered Explosives on zero? What? Well, that's the problem with Blood Braid Elf and Engineered Explosives. Uh, I'm going to say no to that. Well, I could cast it for Tarmogoyf purposes, but I'm just going to say no. Just leave it for later, maybe. And uh, I don't see a reason why not to swing here with Goyf. Well, I guess the, the reason not to, eh, I'm going to do it. Swing with the Goyf. They're top decking. They take it. All right. So hope they don't find another lord. Nice. Yeah, I think we just go for it here. Um, I don't need to drain, right? No. I'm 
not enough. They're alive by one. All right. Yep, guy just wanted me to waste a little bit more time. That's fine. All right, resubmit. I wonder if the guy took out... Um, took out the... Uh, boy. This hand here. What the fuck? I mean, it's okay. I guess I'll keep it. I might lose the time with this hand. Nope, there's an Aether Vial. Okay. So in his upkeep, I'm going to um, besage you this. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Looking good in the neighborhood here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, need to get an overgrown tomb. Um, even though it kind of hurts. Oh. Things are going, Luke? Things are going good. How about you, man? I'm on one. I had to play against Living End. You know, the first thing I do in this league is I play a Thought Seize and look, and it's just Living End. <laughs> so that's a great way to start a league with John. Um, against Merfolk here, exciting game three. Um, game one took forever. We could just not, I, we just were constantly evenly tied on creatures and. Eventually they got me. I just couldn't find enough removal. Um, but now we are. If, if this yeah, is Silvergill Adept, they revealed Master. So now my play is to do Liliana minus. Hopefully they don't have a subtlety. That's where things get rough. Is the subtlety. Um, but I think the best play here is to play Liliana and minus. And if they got it, they got it, you know, I mean, what the hell. Chalice and Jun living in is very, very tough now what you put in the sideboard. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, y you know, I, I play a lot of graveyard hate. And that's how I try to take on living in. Yep, force negation, exiling subtlety. Okay, so that means next turn we're going to try and hopefully get a massive engineered explosives, at least for two. And, uh... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be hurting here for a second here. Okay, so there's a Lord of Atlantis and a Master of the Pearl Trident. So now the question is, is do I want to try and scoop those up? as well is that just too dangerous um i think we just do the two for one here and i guess we make them not cast the card right till after combat And then I really got to hurry up. 
The reason I didn't play Bloodstained Mire was fear of spreading seas, which is dumb because now I can destroy spreading seas. Alrighty. Now next turn, probably Blood Braid. Well, yeah, probably Blood Braid. Another different Aether Vial. Probably a Master here. Yeah, definitely Blood Braid. Ah, that's a nice draw too. Come on, Blood Braid, find me some removal. Grist, excellent. Uh, let me make sure I get my basic mountain. I don't want any shenanigans happening where I mill that in. The Blood Crypt. I'm going to bolt that. We're going to swing aggressively here. Go. Go, damn it, go. We can really start running the clock here with the Raging Ravine, potentially. But I think I'm going to get the Goyf out first. Any creature they put out is just going to die, I would assume. I might be wrong. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, plan for Goyf is done. I mean, uh, Raid Ravine's done. We got, I got Mutavault there. It's kind of gross. I want a Fatal Push. So I cannot deal. Okay, Liliana the Veil. All right. Um, yeah, just swing in if they want to trade the Mutavault. That works. They do not want to trade the Mutavault. Nice, made going for five, six. Trying to hold the Liliana until there's a creature on the field, so at least I can minus and get some shit off. You know, he might be drawing a card here, but this is one hell of a match. Been a pretty damn fun match. I might draw a card with nurturing peatland. Is that smart? Mm. I'll have enough for Lily still. Double black to see. See what the deal is. It's got four cards in hand. That's disturbing. Okay. Well, I might not. So, yeah, okay, I see what he's doing. Okay, yeah, he wants to, he wants to get the island walk maybe through the grist or something. Hit the grist. No, he attacks me. I can't block it. Okay, we're, we are going to officially collect a brutality, I think. Well, nah, probably just Liliana, right? A swamp. Wow. More of that shit. Exile the spreading seas? Think you want to play that? Put on top.
Sling. I guess I don't want to. <laughs> I guess I can't use. Gr All right, there we go. I guess I. Yeah, I couldn't use Chris at that point. Because Lily really I'll go in the grave either. Huh. Anyways, there we go. Murpho, long match, fun match. Good shit. One and one. What's going on here? I said one and one. Damn it. Uno e uno. All right. There we go. Never found the boil. That'd been epic. Yeah, I don't know. The merfolk decks these days seem to get really stuck on the subtleties and force negations. You know, they, they seem a little more clunkier than they used to be. Yeah, it's just me. Damn, that was a long one. Yes, I had to go first. I didn't realize I went. I was going first. I thought I was going second. But no, I'm going first. Well, it's Friday, guys. Hope you had a great week. Hope you're going to have a great weekend. I will be back, as far as I know, on Monday with Ponza. I know people love watching me play Ponza. So Ponza's back on the menu, baby. It's going to be back on the menu for three weeks solid. Because there's a 1K on the 16th, I will be participating in with Ponza. And then there is a 5K, one of those regional qualifiers or whatever for the Pro Tour. I don't even know. I don't even play Paper Magic anymore. Just my locals are all dead, and it's just a, a real shame. I mean, it truly is a shame. I, they're not dead. They just, I can't attend them. If that makes any sense. I literally can't attend them because of my own schedule and stuff. Um, the ones that I know are running... But, um, you know, maybe I'll give my locals a call sometime and be like, hey, have you guys actually been firing again on Fridays? You know, because I went for four straight weeks, they didn't fire. And I said, fuck this. It's a long drive for me. I'm tired Friday nights, you know. And uh, so, but maybe my locals firing again. I'd love to play locals again. God, paper magic's way better than MTGO magic. Uh, yeah, sure. Giganta the Wellspring, so it's either Tron or Grixis Shadow. We're going to find out together. Always this awkward stuff with the Rage and Ravine, but I, I still love Rage and Ravine. It won me a game earlier this week. You know, why are you running Rage and Ravine? Well, it won. It was pretty decent there for a little bit against the. Uh, against the. Uh, damn old. Uh, Hmm, I almost wanted to take the Death Shadow. Nah. So it is Grixis Shadow. Pretty classic matchup here. It's a tough matchup. Probably for both players. Yeah, I, I like taking the the Ragavan there. Season Pyro. Go over about unholy heat with Liliana. Nothing, huh? Hmm. Well, they can't drown the Lily right now, so I think I was gonna toss out Lily. Don't want to shock though. I could go for a basic swamp. I have enough red mana. Uh, just make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah. They can't counter spell. 
Crown of the Lock with the only option. Yeah, fuck it, I'll shock. May have to double bolt this ledger shredder coming in. Yeah, because they're going to play Ledger Shredder and probably Death Shadow. So I may end up double bolting this damn thing. Kind of a waste, but what can you do? They, play the, they, they shock here with Blood Crypt. They go to 12. Play Ledger Shredder, then play Death Shadow as a 1-1. One, one. Let's see it. There it is. God, I'm good at calling that shit. That's how I would have done it. See if he discards a non-land. He does not. So sweet. Just one bolt. Gotta love that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Now it's like, do I want a minus Lily? Ah, oh, man, this is tough. I think I still want to minus Lily, and then I can still leave up a bolt for something else, right? So, yeah, I think we just we just bolt here, even though Lily's going to get bolted too. So we just bolt here. Minus Lily. Is that right? Bolt there, plus Lily. Uh, these cards are all so good. Make them think I got like a fatal push too. Uh, nah, it, it's got to be minus Lily. That's a lot of removal. Well, I'm glad I minus the Lily. All right, I guess we just go ham here with the, the, the Season Pyro. That allows me to, you know, keep, if, if this does resolve, keep one of these cards. Probably going to be River's Charm keeping. It does indeed resolve. Um, I guess Bolt, definitely Forest, Riveters, keep Riveter's Charm. Try and deal with the, the graveyard. No bolt is so damn good. Yeah. Nice. Even more lands. Excellent. All right. Well, we'll try to get there. Two cards left for the opponent in hand. Going up to three. So let me do the damage for him now. Which is a little bit dangerous that Raider Ravine, but he's probably got like Fatal Push or something. Alright. Yeah, I get overgrown too. Hey, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, Blood Raid. Something good. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Just slam the shit out of this guy. Hit him for six. The only way this goes wrong is he's got two Death Shadows or something. And he didn't like that. <laughs> you got more removal? Yes. 
All right, he's got one card left in hand. What could it be? Two cards now. Mistress Bobble's not very scary. He's going to look at himself. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for Gigantha. Unless he knows he's drawing. It looks like he knows he's drawing something awesome. Probably a fatal push. There's a lightning bolt. Um, man, I wish if I fire Ravine, that is just not quite enough, but it would be. I'm going to take the risk and fire Ravine here. I mean, it's a little bit crazy, but I'm going to go for it. I mean, just get this thing rolling. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. He's just top decking here. Even a Death Shadow can kill the Riveter's Charm. All right, well, let's see if he's dead. I mean, he's holding, he's holding up. He's dead regardless because if he tries to drown the lock, my Lightning Bolt, I'll just Riveter's Charm. That'll be sick. Right, it had to be my graveyard. Ah, yeah, it would still actually... No, no, yeah, okay. I, well, I just drew a Inquisition of Kozlek, so I guess we'll take a look here. Eh, maybe I swing first? Yeah, let's swing first. So the last card in hand we know actually is the Gigantha. So I'm not going to cast Inquisition. Uh, instead, hopefully, um, he'll play Gigantha. The worst case scenario here is he has a he top deck of Death Shadow. That's the absolute worst case scenario. If it's just Gigantha, we'll Rooter's Charm it. Alrighty. Red. Black. Green. Woo -hoo! Uh, swing for one. Uh, for shits and or giggles, let's go ahead and look at his hand, Inquisition. Is a drown the lock, discard the shit out of that. Now it's time for a disrespectful end phase lightning bolt. Alrighty! <laughs> Alright, so unlicensed hearse. Endurance. Inured explosives. These are all quality things. Collector brutality is also not bad. Um, just a lot of stuff I gotta remove. Uh, probably these thought seizes are a little bit rough. Probably don't need them. It's just, man. Do you really want to take out all your Inquisitions in this matchup? I kind of like to still. Just because I need to have so much removal. Just need to keep fighting over creatures and stuff. And Inquisition just doesn't do the job. You know, once it's already on the field and you top deck, you're like, wow, that's worthless. But, you know, you top deck Bren or you top pretty much any of these. I, I'm going to do it. I know a lot of people don't like doing this, but anymore. But we're going to go for it. Good. Grixis Shadow. Remember there used to be like 5 million versions of Shadow? Uh, <laughs> uh. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's neat, but it's also bad. Oof. Ah, fuck it. Uh, 
Ah, what the hell? Let's go. They're mulligan to find thought seeds anyways. I guess they're not. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. We will begin fighting in earnest soon. A shocked, watery grave? Sure. Yes. Sitting here is doing something. You're right. I mean, sometimes just being patient, like, you know, patience, grasshopper son. Uh, that's getting the hell bolted out of it. Boom! Fuck out of here. Uh, sure. I don't mind if I do. Give me a thought seize. Give me a thought seize. Oh, it's a fatal push. Damn it. Just a little bit. If only they had like a tapped, like, you know, Dragon Rage Channel or something. God, that'd been sick. That's good for me. They were going to top deck that fatal push, it was going to stop the Ragavan, the Goives. That's great. Now they're just going to chill axe, it looks like. They're just like, nope. Not moving now. Sure, do it again. Ow. Damn it, ow. Um... Go Goyf here. Surprised he didn't. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Three card types in his graveyard. All righty. I also enjoy that. How about another Ragavan for you? Can you handle the monkey madness? Go! Do it must clearly be done. No! <laughs> Terminating my Ragavan, you monster. How could you? Uh, Boseju, I suppose. Should I put out a second different Goyf? I, I think I'm down with that, man. I, I think I am. I think I'm down with another Goyf. Terminating Ragavan. I, I mean, I, I guess that's a good play. There's one. This is always the problem when they have more than one. And they may be backing up with a Drown the Lock, too. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to swing completely, outrageously, aggressively at him. <sighs> Mountain. And uh, when he goes to fetch to try and keep it alive, we will push in response to the fetch. So yeah, swing in aggressively. There's the block. There's the fetch. Here's the push.
That way we got through a drown the lock. He, why did he do this one? He needed to do this one. He would have taken zero damage. So does that mean he has another shadow in hand? I don't know. That's a little bit concerning. Which if you had two shadows, why would you only play one? You always unleash multiple shadows. Okay, let's see how he does this. Is Croaks going go in the graveyard first? <sighs> no. He needs to have a fail push. Otherwise, he just lost. I guess he could have another land and drown the lock. Well, no, the drown the lock. Yeah, he can't do anything now. Yeah, because it's too late. He should have played the land. And then he could have fetched or something and drown this and let this resolve. All right, that's how we get it done. Taking out Drift and Shadow and nothing. Get that shadow out of my way. I'm coming through. I got Jun. Got Jun and out, boy. He did. I mean, that guy. That guy, everything he did, I just had the answer for. Just like, nah, nah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was some fun stuff. This is actually really tasty. This Tetris uh, G Fuel. You know, it, it, it's really, it, it's like banana flavored. You generally don't see banana flavored things. Um, the only thing top of my head that I know is banana flavored is like those runts. You know, <laughs> The little runt candies. It's got bananas in there, and those are really good. All right, what we got here? Keep in. Enjoy banana popsicles. Yeah. Oh no! Again? Can't I just enjoy life without living ends? I mean, come on. All right, well, fuck. I need Ritter's Charm, like now. Uh, okay. That's bad. Probably gonna take Ragavan. I would. I mean, that's the only card I can cast that has any sort of significance. So, uh, probably dead quick. Uh, enjoy Banana Popsicles, Luke, man. Yeah, I, I'm sure I've had Banana Popsicles. Takes Liliana the Veil instead. I guess maybe they don't have maybe they don't have the thing yet. It's a good draw. Uh, Blood Crypt. Yes. And Law War, thank you for the GG. That was fun. I mean, anytime you can just annihilate a Grixis Shadow with Jun, that's like some of the funnest shit you'll ever do. Like, for real. Does this guy keep a one lander? No, there's a second land. Okay. Um, personally, it's prescribed diet. You per <laughs> Personally, it's prescribed. I like that. That's self-imposed. Um, yeah, I mean, just swinging for, for two here. See what we take. I think we still Croxa here. We take a Botanical Sanctum. I don't know if this is right or wrong, the Croxa. Looking like things might get a little nasty. Can I just beat him to death with this Ragavan? That'd be great. 
because over a gallon of water a day, so I may or may not get daily exercise just running to and from the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, when I'm working uh, my job, I have to walk a lot. Um, so it looks like it's just going to happen now. we got violent outbursts coming. Oh, no. Oh. Wow. Okay. I guess they just wanted to make sure they got that land in case I took it or something. I don't know. A street wraith. I cannot cycle street wraith. I can only cast it. Um, I want, let, let's think here. I wonder if I should just put out both goifs that way. Um, that way, if they do living in, that puts one, two, three, four more cards in the graveyard. I can actually escape Kroxa. Certainly putting out one. You just don't want to be so ridiculously timid. I'll get my basic forest here. And I'll play them both. I mean, this might be walking into an absolute disaster. I probably am. Okay, well, maybe, maybe I'm not. Okay. I mean, you gotta take the Collins command. I can revolt push that, right? But yeah, yeah, I think he saw it. I was gonna revolt push, revolt push. He would take the Colligan's command. That puts six in there. Ah, eh, maybe not. You know, let, let's see what I would draw on. Yeah, wouldn't have worked. Never mind. All right, guys, I'm gonna go check on my dogs real quick. This is some pretty fast siding here. That works pretty good. Uh, Fatal push is generally very bad. Collider brutality is decent sometimes. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Lily on the Bale's okay. Ragavan's all right. Lightning Bolt is generally a little bit questionable. I think that's all I'm going to do. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a moment. guys I'm back uh, yeah looking good here well maybe not <laughs> I don't think I can get rid of this though uh, dogs were happy wife's and baby are happy okay
Well, that helps a lot, actually. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Inquisition right off the bat and try to start dashing Ragavan. See if I can't catch a Phylon Outburst or something. Uh, I found absolutely nothing. Well, at least... Okay there. Um... Tear shed for those losses. I guess I should have just played Ragavan. I mean, what am I doing? That was hella stupid. That was really bad gameplay, actually. I should have just done Ragavan simply because I would have been able to swing. Yeah, that was just bad news. That's what he drew? Okay. Took a lot of damage there. That's a lot of damage. four mana. Okay. And swinging for two. Hoping to hit a, uh, you know, violent outburst or something. Waker waves, okay. A lot of damage that can be prepared with the power of flex seal. Absolutely. There's nothing that flex seal cannot fix. Uh, I, I could use some flex seal myself right now, it looks like, coming up maybe. Don't do it, dude. <laughs> that looks scary. <laughs> What's happening there? <laughs> that looks like that might be a violent outburst sitting in hand. He's like, oh shit, wait. Hold up. Never mind. Oh, thank God. Thank the Lord. Yes. Christ, yes. Uh... And then let's dash Ragavan. Just keep keep the monkey madness going. Swing extremely violently with a small 2-1 that's, like, ridiculous. Oh, you didn't have it, it looks like. Took a steam vents. Sure. What is going on here? Oh, I bet you I know what's going on. He's got a force negation. He's got force negation in it. Oh, no. Normally, that's what they like to do against these endurance. And then they know you have endurance when you're, you have green mana. Is they like to... Um, what happened? Scalding Tarn? Oh, he put that in the grave. Um, normally, they enjoy um, doing that because... Displace Foundation Breaker? It's a little bit annoying, but... Sure, red. Bolt. Okay. <laughs> sure, pal. Where do you say, pal? But the reason they like doing that is, you know, they play Violet Outburst on your turn. You Endurance... And since it's still your turn, they force a negation in response that they cannot do for, you know, they, they exile a blue card paying its alternate cost. Uh, you know, it's just a disaster sometimes. It's such a tough deck to beat because of those cards. Uh, I mean, just good shit here, man. Swinging in with that monkey. Nice. Take a subtlety. That's awesome. Let's take a look at your hand. What do you got going on over there, pal? Oh, I'll take that force negation. No problem. Not that force negation would work, actually. What am I talking about? What was I even talking about? Force negation won't work against... They have another foundation breaker? Now, what was I thinking of? Oh, subtlety. Wow, they got a lot of redundant cards. Another Soaring City.
I like how I make myself just look like an idiot sometimes, where I'm like, oh, yeah, no problem, you know, you know. <laughs> but are they just going in again? No, they're not. What is going on? So how much mana is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think we still want to do Blood Raid Elf, right? Well, I guess I could. Definitely playing that. I mean, Blood Raid Elf could find a uh, could find another piece of grave hate, I guess. Come on, Blood Braid. Liliana the Veil. Sure. Oh, I should have plus Lily first. Whoops. Get him. Plus. Discard additional extra Lily. Get rid of his breeding pool. Yeah, he's holding that Ottawaru auto or whatever. Returns Waker of Waves. He's just going to cast this? No. So we know that the two cards left in hand are Ottawaru and Force Foundation Breaker. Uh, I'm just going to Endurance now. Just, I mean, if this cost me the game somehow, this cost me the game somehow. Yo! All right. Woo! Yeah! All right. Taking out Living End, getting revenge on that first round loss. what happens when you're playing a stupid combo deck sometimes your shit don't work sometimes you just lose to monkeys and lands i guess i don't know all right going for the hopeful 4-1 here uh this list has been really good actually this week so far so uh major riot approved tetris g fuel approved i approve everything going on right now I do. Unless you're doing something fucked up I can't see because, you know, internet, you know, I'm talking to you live or record on YouTube. I don't know what you're doing while watching me, whether live or on demand. Hopefully it's nothing illegal or heinous. Hopefully you're just enjoying life, you know, you're sipping on a good beverage, you know, maybe I got me in the background while you're watching some sports. However you're doing, as long as you're doing it safely, legally, and morally correctly, uh, I approve. You know, just <laughs> throwing it out there. You know, like, oh, we have you in the back, and we're doing a uh, massive uh, narcotics deal. I'm like, whoa. I, I didn't know my voice was so soothing for large uh, cash drug transactions. But if that's legal where you're from, maybe in parts of Mexico it's legal, or in Africa, I don't know. I guess. Whatever. All right, trying to see if I can't get the 4-1 with old John. Is this any good? Yeah, I... I, I, I think it's okay. I'm going second, right? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm going first. Fuck. Uh, I guess I'll start with Proving Grounds. Yeah, I'll start with that, and then maybe lead into the Ren. <sighs> maybe that was wrong. Damn it. Yeah, probably wrong. Mm, maybe okay. Blood Crypt Overgrown Tomb. Blood Crypt. Uh, 
Turned out it was all right. Seems like a decent play. What is that? What is happening here? What is this? Is this zoo or something? Go to Lightning Helix by Renin Six? Maybe it's Bring the Light. I don't know. Oh. God. They're going after me or Ren? My Ren down. Alright. Well. How about another Ren? Um, do I Inquisition or I try to hold a bolt against the Ragavan? I think I like actually just straight up taking Ragavan. As long as I don't have multiples. Yeah. So with this breeding pool, they're gonna add nothing. Right, they have Island, Mountain, Forest. They don't have Swamp or Plains. So, yes, take the Ragavan. All right, we're against Domain Zoo, which is a pretty fun matchup, honestly, for me. Um, don't know if I'll win, but at least I can maybe uh, have a good belly laugh. Going with the expressive iteration. I knew that was happening. Finds Arid Mesa, so now he'll have access to all the lands. Um, we know that he's going to have access to Bloodbraid Elf and all that shit. So I think we just want to probably dash Ragavan and play Kroxa. So yeah, let's, let's dash Ragavan. Bar, unless he drew a lightning bolt or something. Swing in. Jet Mirror's Garden? Sure. Take another Ragavan. I don't mind taking that, actually. Uh, pick up Bloodstained Mire. Play Bloodstained Mire. Get a basic swamp. And Kroxa. See who they discard. They discard Renin Six. Okay. So if, if they play um, Blood Red Elf, we can bolt it. Which I assume is what they want to do. They might throw out the Kavu, but I, I don't know why they would. Just, yeah, get the Blood Braid, see what you can get off it. Lightning Bolt is extremely good. Um, just want to bolt the Ren. Yep. stuff too um okay then um yeah just just dash ragavan here again 
dash it. I'm going to lose probably my Renin 6 here coming up because of uh, Prismatic Ending. Whoa, what's this? Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a 4-4 four, four Golem. You know, I don't mind casting that. I think I will. Yeah, I, I can make white mana here. Hexproof from monocolored. Sure. Don't mind if I do. Oops, I, I had extra mana. Oh, he's only three mana. Fuck. Not that I could have done anything anyways, but... You know, we at least bluffed a bolt or a push. Now I actually have an extra creature to, <laughs> to use with Grist, which is fun. Yep. His own, okay. Oh, I did not realize it was a one toughness creature. Okay. Um... Uh, that's pretty good. Um, how much mana do I have here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can terminate Dash Ragavan, kill that. Yeah. Plus. Terminate. Cast with Dash. Kill Ren. Holy Bloodstained Mire. I would assume he's going to eventually Prismatic end this. Okay. Good old stomping ground here. Uh, let's think here. Season Pyro with Cake, three mana, I can discard. I can't K command that. I pick up. Sure, okay. So here's the plan. Cast Pyro. Discard Ragavan. 
and Blood Crypt. Draw more lands. Green, black, black. Minus two, Sacri get rid of the token, destroy the Kavu, play Bloodstained Mire. And uh, try to go at them next turn. Try to hold this Colgan's command for their big flying dude. Their artifact creature. Okay, run down. Protection from hexproof from monocolored. So that means sign of Draco. Thank you, Luke. So that means this thing's just dead to the Colligan's command. Uh, so yeah, plus Grist here. Uh, Kroxa here. Make sure I got enough mana for the K command because I'm gonna I'm gonna have K command deal two damage to the general and make him discard a card. Uh, so red, red, black, black, land, land, lightning bolt, Ragavan. No, I, I no I I want to keep Ragavan in there. Inquisition, he's got a run in 6 2, so that works. He discarded a Teferi the Time Raveler. Play this. I'm going to swing with the. Uh, yeah, this thing is. Yeah, it does not have, it has hexproof from monocolor. It's not protection. So I'm going to swing here. He takes it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then in his draw step, hopefully he doesn't find a instant or something. Um, I'm going to make him discard and deal two damage to the general. So in his draw step, red, black, black. Target player discards a card, deal two damage. Discard, two damage. Well, it is, he found one. He found, well, maybe. Find like abundant growth or something? Not abundant growth, what is the one? Draw a card and put a land on the battlefield. Okay, uh, all right. Good stuff. Okay, this is an interesting matchup. I like the Alpine Moon in here. Um, what don't I like? I mean, there's like, so much good shit. My deck is pretty good against the opponent's deck, honestly. Um, I, I think I can take out Thoughtseize. And really, the only other card is, like, Ancient Grudge. I could also bring in Turok. I can bring Collect Brutality. I mean, I got a lot of stuff here. Is it, is it better than what I already have? The Alpine Moon, maybe that's not right. No, I, I don't think I should bring an Alpine Moon. That's too narrow. That's way too narrow. Instead, it's either Ancient Grudge, Turok, or Collector Brutality. Turok is great because... Sadly, not great enough. Probably just need to have Ancient Grudge to try and deal with 
the artifact golems he makes and the sign of Draco. Everything else looks really good. I mean, Liliana is super good here. Fatal Push is great. Bolt. Uh, I'm just going to run with this. Just bring in the Ancient Grudges. They may clog my hand, but at least I know I'll have maybe some outs. This is okay, even though there's no threat. Um, maybe I can just grind him down through this. I don't know. Okay. Bolty, bolty. That was a good draw. <laughs> I don't have to take an extra damage. Bolt, bolt. Ah, I probably should have waited till his turn. Well, no, he showed blue mana. Like, maybe... Maybe that was wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. Fuck! How are you supposed to know this stuff? Takes a season pyro. I could have used that. Alright, well... bad draw either um what's going on you have a prismatic ending in a ragavan uh boy what if he draws like to ferry the time raveler uh, let's take the ragavan I don't think I need to take that prismatic ending yet. I have no threats to show them yet. So I think that's the right call. Prismatic ending, sorcery speed. We can deal with that. Sorcery speed. It's 2022. You gotta have instants up the ass. Okay. Don't know what's going on there. No play from the opponent. What's he up to? Ass draws. I'm just going to sit back and hold, you know? I mean, is there anything he could have that would be really disturbing? I can't take Sign of Draco with Inquisition of Kozilek. Uh, yeah, I guess we just sit back. I mean, that's wrong. Maybe I should Inquisition him. Ah, fuck it. You just got to do it. I've got mana. Spend the mana. What do you got? Do you draw another different land? No, he drew a lightning bolt. So what do I want him to... I think I want to take the lightning bolt. Yeah. I mean, hopefully that works out for me. Just keep leaving him with the sorcery speed, because even if even if I get like a Lily on the veil, at least I can do something with Lily. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Strange game. I can't find a threat. I'm trying to thin the deck before I start nurturing peat landing. He cycles the triome. That don't look friendly. Yeah, that's not friendly. All right, I need to find removal now. Fatal push. Fatal push. Fatal push. More lands, more lands. Repeat, more lands. God. <laughs> My God, have I only drawn land so far? I think so. I've only drawn land, so this is going to be a potential disaster brewing. Oh, boy. 
Here we go. Man, you know, I actually the only draw I would have is that season pyro where, you know, I don't know why I, I mean, I'm always concerned about, you know, if I would have bolt, waited till his turn to bolt the Ragaman, I would have a season pyro in hand and it'd be the whole difference. Even though right now, if I would have played the season pyro, it only would have drawn lands, but I've been deeper in the deck. So, you know, I mean, that's just, the reason I, I, I'm paranoid about bolting a Ragaman during their turn is because most of the time when you see Ragaman from the opponent's, they're always um, blue mana decks, which this deck does have blue mana, obviously. Um, good exile. Yes. Draw a card. It's a goif, which... <laughs> now that's bad. <coughs> because I've left that prismatic ending the entire time. Mistakes have been made again. Uh, Fatal Push would be nice here. I'm just saying. Double Bolt. <laughs> uh, okay. A little bit wasteful, but we got to do what we got to do. Because they're either going to prismatic end this if they don't already have something else. If they don't have Path to Exile or something. Very wasteful double bolt coming up, maybe. Yeah, I should have took the prismatic ending. Just trying to be cute. Just trying to think of me like I need a Ragavan. Because they were just stuck there for a while. But now they're unstuck, and now I'm in trouble. Okay. Manamorphos. I'm going to just double bolt this thing now. Well, maybe, because when it swings, just pull the trigger on this thing. I mean, that's my plan anyways. Yeah, I should have had Bolt. That was stupid. If the Prismatic ends now, then I'll Bolt in response. God, why? Why, Lord, why? Why are you doing this to me? How many lands is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Half my cards have been lands? That's how you lose games, guys. That's how you lose when you can only draw lands. I mean, come on. Come on, get hyped for lands. Get hyped for them. You know you want to. It's impressive that the opponent struggled so bad and I never found anything other than lands. Right? Or did I just find that lightning bolt? I don't remember. Who cares? Liliana. Well, I can fight a little bit here. Just for a little bit. I gotta get rid of Omnath. What? Alright, that's the end of the game. <laughs> 
Wow. Good job, deck. So many lands. And all, you know, and it wouldn't have mattered even with that season pyro. That's the problem. Like, I would have been two cards. So after I lose this game, we're going to draw two cards and see if, if I would have gotten any deeper at all. Like, I, I still think I would have lost this. I mean, just the ridiculousness of the situation of just only lands. Yeah, there's even one land exiled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine lands of 17 cards, more than half. Took another land, it was Blood Crypt. Fatal Push. Just a little bit late. Okay, let's draw a couple of cards and see if anything would have happened. It's not going to let me. Why the hell does it do that shit? Well, it doesn't matter, guys. I, I couldn't have won that to save my life. Um, so maybe I should bring in Turok. Or Collective Brutality. Just my whole deck seems pretty decent against him. You know, River's Charm's a little bit weird, but it's nice I can make him sacrifice a creature. Yeah, I, I guess we'll try Turok here. Uh, no. Okay, I died to my own deck just not working this match. I've got to go to five and just... It's over. Yeah, we're just dead. Quality death. <sighs> Fuck, come on, deck, you piece of fucking shit. God damn it, I hate how you lose games and matches. Just, you know, I don't mind losing when I'm getting to play and, you know, try to be against the opponent and everything. You know, that that's one thing. But, you know, when you're sitting here and you're just getting rocked because you cannot draw a non-land or you have to mulligan so bad, you know, I mean, it's just a disaster. green mana. I need Blood Crypt. Our Overgrown Tomb would work too. Uh, I'm going to take a shock here, right? Next turn? Not necessarily. Maybe I should have played Ragavan. I'm not going to be able to block with Goyf here. Oh, he found a Ragavan? Didn't find a land? Huh. Can't block with Goyf here because he's going to take... Yeah, terminate, make it a 3-4 again. Just take the damage, go to 15. He did find a land. And he is going to play Ragavan, okay. Okie dokie. 
Bolt Ragavan. Uh, yeah, I guess you can bolt Ragavan, dash my own Ragavan. I guess. Swing for six. Move, took it to ferry. Okay. And now he's got to contend with my Ragavan, so he's probably going to leave up creatures to try and block it. Six cards in hand. Ah! The third Ragavan from the opponent. He's just a Bloodbraid Elf. It's probably just a Bloodbraid Elf. Oh. It's even worse. Now, at least he's... Yeah, he'll take the lightning bolt. Oh, he takes expressive iteration, same thing. Really use some help here. Lily on the veil, huh? Eh? This is just gonna get me killed. I don't think I can beat Omnath. What I think what I need to maybe do is almost just like bluff, like swing with Goyf. Deal two here, make him discard a card. I mean, is that intelligent? I don't think so. But the problem is with this, with this Omnath, I'm just in serious trouble. Just gotta try and even the creatures out. No way he sacrifices Omnath. Just not happening. Yeah. Alright. Pretty sure we're just completely dead to that card. I cannot imagine beating this deck now. I just had to mull too much. The last game, I just had too many problems with with uh, top decking lands. Uh, so Mana Screw finally catches up in round five. I didn't have any mana problems the entire day, I don't think. What was it? Mana Morphos? Sweet! <laughs> That's a great cascade for me. I mean, I, I was concerned I was going to be Bolt or something. Or Lightning Helix. Uh, you know, I mean, whatever. I will double black block the Omnath if you let me. Oh, there's Lightning Bolt. There we go. Well, now if he bolts the, the Liliana, Goyf is a 5-6. You know? 
That's some serious heft. What do I need here? Terminate? I already used Terminate, right? Yeah, I already used Terminate. Yeah. Damn it. Mmm. Yeah, there you go. Two for one on the Goyf. So, I mean, if I take it, I go to seven. <clears throat> and I guess I'll, I'll take it, I, I, I guess. Nurturing Peatland. So we're going to see what we got going on here. We're going to... K Command, dealing two damage, pick up Goyf. Turn her career, deal two damage to any target. So yeah, I mean, that's the plan. Well, first let me do it. If he's got Veil of Summer, this the game's over. Still gonna pick up Goyf. Uh, can't do anything else here. Uh, just gonna block. Can't plus the Lily. So I'm glad I blocked first. I mean, just, oh Jesus fucking Christ. All right, okay. Alrighty then. Well, the deck completely collapsed in the last two games of this league. Uh, I I couldn't do anything to win that last ga two games. Like I had a mole to five in game three, flooded to death. Uh, I tried my best, but a three two is all I can never really get with this. Which is uh, some people say a three two with Jun is actually a five zero. But those people are stupid, and that is not correct. A 5-0 is a 5-0. Uh, I tried my best, and it just wasn't enough there. Uh, it ran great all day until that last match, which is a pretty good thing for Chun. Generally, at some point, you have where you just get blown out of the water. Uh, but I hate being blown out of the water because the deck doesn't function. You know, I was literally just thinking about that before the fifth match is, wow, I've been really been able to play the game today. I haven't sat there and been like, that's another land, or man, I got a mole of five, or, you know, I'm unable to cast anything because I get mana screwed the other direction where I have where I have two lands and everything else is three mana or more, which is unlikely with this deck because most things are one and two in these days. Um, just could not compete there at the end you know it's sad but you know a three and two there's nothing wrong with three and two but just again i hate losing to you know where i feel like i'm just so far behind because the deck doesn't work you know where the game you know rng you know people always talk about rng bro uh you know it's not fun losing that way you know if i would have lost just top deck versus top deck every time you know, every time we get an action, you know, then I'd be a little more happy. But it's just tough losing that way. 
Uh, so let's do some shout outs here. Uh, shout outs to LukeMan98, Lana War Zombie, MTG Bot, and the Night Bot for keeping me company. Really appreciate that, guys. Uh, thanks to anybody who watched this on Twitch. If you did watch on Twitch, please consider following. If you watch this on YouTube, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun league, except for the end, just frustration, the normal frustration. You know, I'm generally a pretty happy Magic player, unless I just literally cannot play. You know, which seemed like that's how it was the last couple games, especially game two. Game two was just a joke. Um, but, yeah, hope you guys had fun. Uh, I'll be back on Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific time for Ponza action. It's been a while since I played Ponza except for that super qualifier. Um, but Ponza's coming back for three straight weeks because I'm going to a 1K and then a 5K with Ponza. So hopefully we can put up good results, make me feel confident as I head into those events and try to win some real money. Turn into a professional Magic the Gathering player. Professional Magic the Gathering player. Um... So, yeah, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. How did Jun do this week? Jun went uh, 6, 8, 9, 8, and 7. It actually had a winning record for the week. So, good job, Jun. I do like this build. It is pretty damn fun. Um, of course, you know, you have the RNG where you just you don't get anything going. But, you know, when it's working, it's working. It seems to be a pretty good build here. So uh, I recommend it to people if you want to keep playing Jun and still have old cards that you enjoy like Blood Braid Elf and Lily on the Veil, which I don't know how you can play Jun without Lily on the Veil. It's just too good. Uh, it was hella good today. Uh, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's uh, content. Again, everybody stay safe out there. Eat some good food. Drink some good beverages. Um, I'm going to eat some teriyaki tonight. Uh, my wife's going to pick up some teriyaki. I'm very excited for that. And I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. I'll see you again on Monday for Ponza action. Uh, I should be able to play four or five days next week. My normal routine getting back kind of a little more normal. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope to see you all uh, next week for Ponza. It did well at the Super Qualifier. Hopefully it continues to do well through the leagues. And, guys, thanks for watching. And, of course, peace!